Hello again, Scott, KI5CZU, with a quick video on how I have my code plug set up. I'm a new ham, and uh, I got into this DMR radio thing because people told me that's where the, it was happening. And so I bought one, and as soon as I got my license, I started trying to learn how to use it, and I pulled my hair out. I uh, luckily found a neighbor that was a ham, and he shared a code plug with me, and that kind of got me thinking how this thing works but I still took a long time to, to grasp it I didn't want to go asking questions all the time uh, I went to some local ham club meetings and nobody seemed to reach out to me and make me feel welcome so uh, I just did this all on my own by watching some uh, videos um, some of the videos I, I watch I'll share with you uh, some places you can get information from is like uh, radio reference. You can pick your state. Now this one you have to have a subscription to if you want to download stuff, but you can get on there and look things up. Uh, I can look at Houston. I can look at amateur radio. And it'll tell me all the amateur radio stations in the area. Uh, if you go up here and you show shown, it'll show you the transmit and receive frequencies for those and it'll tell you the DMR stuff down here. It's got DMR mark. And it'll show you all the local repeaters that are DMR, which is what I was interested in. And their color codes. And it'll tell you what channels that the uh, repeaters have. That's one place to find it. Another place I use a lot is uh, Repeater Book. It's free. Go down and hit Texas, and it'll show you all kinds of different things. You can go to different cities, things like that. Uh, if I just want DMR, it'll show me just the DMR stuff. All the ones in Texas, uh, you can narrow it down to your zones and things like that. And I think it will let you export. Uh, different files and that's what radio reference lets me export a CSV file of all that stuff so that's another source and then of course in Texas they have a, a DMR Texas net and here's my local repeaters and so if I was to click on one let's say uh, Transtar it'll tell me all the channels that are available on the Transtar Repeater, World Wide One, North America, TAC 310, TAC 311, DCI Bridge, which is nationwide, 3100. It'll tell me what the color code is up here, color code 7. It'll tell me what the uh, receive frequency is, and you know, you, you know how to convert your receive and transmit. You should, if you're ham, um, frequencies to put them into your, into your code plug. Speaking of code plugs... I'm going to go to mine, and I'm going to show you my code plug and how I got it set up. So, the first thing, and it's, I wish somebody would explain this to me at the beginning. The first thing that you really need to do is add your talk groups. So, here's a list of all the talk groups, all the Brandmeister talk groups in the United States. I've got every one of them in there. I might not ever use them all, but I've got them in there. So, we go in there and we get back up here. I know they're in here somewhere. Get to the bottom of my list here. And really, the only thing I had to add was some of the local stuff. Like Houston Metro. That's one of the local repeaters. I had to go in and add... Houston Metro and again if I go back over here into the Transtar and I look at Houston Metro it tells me that it's talk group 8207 that's where I got those numbers so these aren't Brandmeister numbers these are DMR ID numbers and I don't know where you find the master list for that I haven't found it yet anyway you have that, you put it in, you put in 
uh, the name of the of the talk group and what the ID number is and you have all your list of of uh, talk groups so once you have all that done then you're ready to make your your list and I'm going to show you my list how I got mine formatted here's the Transstar repeater and this was a thing that was throwing me off I have to make a channel for each channel that's on that repeater so if you go back to that Transstar zoom this down some and you look at those channels I had to have North America talk group 3 okay so I knew that North America was talk group 3 um, TAC 310 TAC 311 TAC 312 I have all those in here but you have to name them a unique name so I use mine for example I call it whatever the whatever the repeater is transfer Transstar Texas wide okay Transstar Texas Oklahoma regional which is this South Plains Transstar Houston which is the Houston Metro so I have all these with a unique name so that's one repeater okay then I went down to the next repeater in the group and I started adding them and you have to have a unique name so because if, if you just try to call it Texas wide or Houston or TAC 310 it won't let you put them in there because it, it won't support the same name twice on an any tone code plug this is just for an any tone I don't know about other radios for an any tone they have to be a unique name in the channel name they can't you can't say TAC 310 in this group and put TAC 310 in this group I don't know why you can't but you can't so that right there was a wealth of information for me when I finally figured it out I've got a lot of local repeaters you can look through here and you can see I got a lot of local repeaters and they all have unique names even though it's the same talk group worldwide Houston worldwide hobby worldwide all of them have a unique name so that they work. Okay, I'm going to come down, hopefully get into my code plug here. I'm going to go up a little bit. I've got two different hot spots. I've got an open spot that I use in my car, and I've got a jumbo spot that I'm using here and testing at home. Everything that I have that's open spot, We'll say open spot beside it, OS, TAC 310 OS. So I know that this is for my open spot, hot spot. If I go down a little bit further, get into my jumbo spot, and that's my, that's still my open spot. I got a lot of channels, and I left a lot of space so I can add more stuff. Get down here into my jumbo spot, and it'll say, TAC 310 JS jumbo spot, but it's still TAC 310 USA is what talk group it's using. So that's the only thing that was throwing me off was that channel name has to be unique. Okay, so once you get all that information in there, um, it's pretty easy to figure this out. Um, if you go down now to um, receive groups. You can make receive groups. Now with my open spot, I have to have a talk group nine. So here's my talk group nine, and all I have in there is talk group nine. And so when you hook up an open spot, it actually will broadcast over your radio like the parrot, and it'll say looking for open spot or connected to open spot, whatever, Brandmeister 3101, whatever it finds. Now my jumbo spot has a digital screen on it, so it doesn't do that. But I've got all these channels in my jumbo spot, all these channels in my open spot. Uh, so I can monitor those channels when I've got uh, my digital monitor turned on. I can hear all those talk groups, kind of like a scanner. All right, and in talking about scanners, i got a scan list. And the only thing I have a scan list of right now is the Houston local repeaters. And I can turn that on and off if I want to drive around Houston 
and I want to hear all the traffic on the local repeater, I can scan all those channels. I will probably make another scan list for my Fire EMS channels that I'm going to add. Uh, probably make one for the analog uh, repeaters that I'm going to put in here. I haven't got those in here. I'm, I'm just cleaning up this code plug from another one I've been practicing with. But I'll get all those in there, and then I'll have all that. Now, zones, you have to make a zone. You have to make a zone for every repeater that you're going to use. So Texas City has nine channels. Here's Texas City DMR. Here are the nine talk groups that are in that repeater. Another important thing to do is make your zones, put your repeaters in there. Same thing with my open spots and my jumbo spots. Got to put them in there. Got lots of channels in there because I got a lot of groups in there. And in the, if I make a Fire EMS one, it'll call it Fire EMS. And I'll put all the channels that I want to monitor in Fire EMS in there and turn the scan group on. Analog repeaters, I'll make a group or a zone for my analog repeaters. And I'll have those in there. So I hope this helps. I hope it kind of explained it better than it was explained to me. I watched a lot of, a lot of videos. Maybe I just wasn't getting it. I wasn't getting that zone thing, that's for sure, the channel where you have to go in there and put a unique name for all these. I wasn't getting that. So now that I've got it, I'm kind of learning it. I want to share the information with other people. I've got a couple of videos out on uh, if you buy an open spot on, uh, not an open spot, a jumbo spot on eBay or one of the clones. It'll show you how to set it up if you can't get it working out of the box. Hope this helps. Again, um, I learned a lot of things from watching others. So I kind of want to shout out to the people that, that helped me. Um, this is the open spot that I, I mean the jumbo spot that I own. I bought it on eBay. $89. I've got some other Close down some of these these screens, and hopefully you can see. Let me close all this down so that I can show you a couple guys that I get a lot of my information from. Uh, K6 UDA Bob has a YouTube channel. He's also law enforcement, so I kind of get his humor. And so I watch a lot of his videos. And then I also watch a guy across the pond, Chris Andrews. And Chris has a uh, a great channel with a lot of any tone information on it. He's taught me a lot of things. I listen to him every day on TAC 310. We chat. I can send him some emails. Uh, he has a great page. So get out there and watch his videos. Help support him a little bit. And uh, like his page and share it. And, and uh, subscribe. Subscribe to mine. And uh, I'll keep making these videos as, as I learn things. Got a new uh, Yesu. FTM 400 that's going to be here one of these years whenever Yesu gets some more in stock and I've already uh, installed all the wiring in my car uh, so I'm going to make a video on that showing you how I wired my car up getting ready for that radio everything's ready and all I need is the radio to come in and it'll be good to go so hope you enjoyed it uh, 73's to you till next time KI5CUZU is signing off.